we are live hi everyone welcome back to codera today in this video we'll be discussing the lead code daily challenge for 31st of january 2022 the name of the problem is richest customer wealth previously this problem has been asked in some of the organizations although i find it to be an easy problem so we'll be discussing now how we can do this problem so quickly consider giving me a plus one in the chat if my voice is clearly audible to everyone and my screen is also visible and then we'll start with this problem right but before starting uh, one more thing that i want from all of you is if you are new to the channel and you have just uh, come here so you can consider to subscribe our channel because on this particular channel we are daily uploading the lead code uh, daily challenges that happen regularly apart from this we are planning to upload more things from lead code and we have also been uploading the uh, problem the code forces round editorials apart from this we have also kabi singh who is doing a lot of uh, work so you can consider to subscribe this channel now let me know in the comments if my uh, voice is clearly audible and if we are good to go with this problem or not hi shreya right so this particular problem as i told you it has been asked in a lot of companies but uh, when i looked looked at this problem so i thought that it was quite simple so it might have been asked a long back a very long back right so this problem says that you have been given a grade of m cross n integers right where you have been given this accounts right this accounts matrix and account of ij is the amount of money that the ith customer has in the jth bank account right so what does it mean let's say if i have uh, some people like if i have a few people right if let's say i have a person that is having 1 2 3 and another person that may be having 8 7 and 6 something like this so this is the first person this is the ith person right this is the row and these are the columns right so this is this is i this is i and these uh, columns are j right moving uh, moving in each column is j right so for this particular question it is saying that you have to you have been given like for this this is the ith person right this is the ith person and uh, for the ith person ai j denotes what ai denotes the ith person and j denotes the jth bank account right so if you will calculate the sum of all the uh, particular js like if you keep let's say you are your i is currently zero right so if you sum for all like you start your j j starts from zero and j is less than the total number of columns that you have and j plus plus if this way you do it and you write sum plus is equal to a of 0 a of 0 j right so in this particular case you will get what you will get sum as 6 right so this is the sum that this particular person is having in in all his bank accounts right this is the total amount that he is having in all its bank account now for the second person where i if i i is this much then in that case what will happen 8 plus 7 plus 6 so this would give me nothing but 21 right so what you have to do in this particular question like let's come back right so it says that aij is the amount that the ith person is having in its jth bank account right so you have to return the wealth that the richest customer has right you have to return the wealth of the richest customer in this particular hi anubhav uh, you have to return the wealth right you have to return the wealth of richest person right so who will be the richest person a person how much person uh, how much money does a person have so if you just add all the columns for a particular row if you add all the columns so that is the total amount of money that particular person is having right if you have 8 7 and 6 so all that money that he has is nothing but this right that is the sum so this is what you are doing in this particular question now what you will be doing is a customer's wealth is the maximum amount of money that he uh, that they have in the bank account so you have to just uh, the richest customer is the customer who has the maximum wealth right so you just have to return the wealth so if you have let's say 1 to 3 and 3 to 1 right so in this case the richest wealth is 6 right because both are both are the maximum answers right if you let's say have 1 5 7 3 and 3 5 like this 1 5 7 3 and 3 5 let me write it so if you have a uh, 1 5 Seven five and one five seven five uh, seven three and three five right one five uh, seven three oh sorry one five and you have seven three and three five right uh, sorry for a little interruption in this part yeah so if you have something like this right okay so if you have let's say you have something like this right. Mm, it's not working properly. Yeah, if you have something like this, that is, you have, uh, let's say, you have a one five, right? If you have one five, then you have seven three, 
and then what you have 1573 and 35 right so this is the amount that you are having right in this particular thing this is the amount that you have for each person right so like these are with commas you can say right so what is the amount of money that this person would be having he would be having six this person would be having ten this person would be having eight so you just don't have to do anything you have to find the maximum out of six ten and eight and that is nothing but ten right so you will print ten in the answer let's check out the answer so you'll see that the answer is ten because the first customer is having total amount as 5 plus 1 so that is 6 the second amount is having 7 plus second person is having 7 plus 3 so that is 10 and the third person is having 3 plus 5 so that is 8 so the richest person is the second person and you just have to print the amount that he has so it would be 10 right give me a plus 1 in the chart if this much part is clear now if you have like 2 8 and 7 7 1 and 3 and 1 9 and 5 so which is the person who is having the highest amount this person right 17 this person is having 17 amount this person is having an amount of how much uh, this person is having an amount of 11 or something like that he's having an amount of 15 so this person 2 8 and 7 is having the highest amount right so that's why you will print this particular person so what you will be doing is like this it's very it's very uh, intuitive part for this particular question what you need to do is you just need to accumulate all the uh, rows the sum for all the rows like for each person you need to find out how much amount of money is having and you just need to keep a track of the maximum so you mark your maximum as zero and like i'll write the pseudo code for it so your i would be starting from zero i is less than the number of rows that you are having right and what you would be doing is you would be starting let's say your you mark your sum as the zero right sum would be marked as zero each time you can say then your j starts from zero and j is lesser than m and j you do a j plus plus then what you do is uh, let's say you do this sum plus is equal to a of i j right whatever is the array that is whatever is the matrix that been that's been given to you right you do it like this then you say that what is the maximum sum so you keep a track of the maximum sum so maximum is equal to maximum of mx comma uh, nothing but the sum right and in the end what you do you just return the maximum right you just return the maximum sum what you do for each person this is for each person right so for the ith person for the ith person this is the total amount of money ith person is having right so for each person if the sum every time sum you initialize it as zero and every time you are getting what uh, what is the sum that the ith person is having in a particular uh, in his particular bank accounts right in all his bank accounts so you just keep a track every time that uh, the per the first person would be having some sum then the second would be having some amount of money right so you just keep a track of the maximum and in the end you just return the maximum right let me show you the code part for this particular problem so what you will be given is you will be given a vectors of vector of vectors let me just zoom in a little bit so you'll be given a vector of vectors that is a 2d matrix you can say right n would denote the amount right so n is equal to accounts dot size that is array dot size and if you want to find the column length if you found, want to find the column length so column length would be nothing but accounts of zero dot size i hope that you know this if you didn't know this then you are now aware about this right so the number of rows would be denoted by the uh, by the size of the array like the number of rows and the number of columns would be nothing but a of zero dot size that is how much is the size of each vector right things like that how much is the size of each uh, row right how many number of columns are there right so m is the number of columns then you mark your maximum as zero and you start i from zero i is lesser than n so for all the rows you are iterating you mark your sum as zero and for the particular person you traverse through all its bank accounts like from j is equal to zero until j is less than m whatever bank accounts he's having and you calculate the sum in the end what you do is you just uh, simply keep a check that what is whatever is the maximum sum you keep a check on it and you just simply return your maximum right this was a very easy question i don't know why a lot of com good company tax were given for this particular question but maybe it might have been asked uh, to some people right you instead of doing this some um, you can also use accumulate function which is there in c plus plus so you can also do that but uh, still the time complexity would remain the same and space complexity would be order of one so this was the problem if this problem is clear to everyone you can consider giving a plus one in the chart right uh, although this problem seemed easy but still it's a good habit to solve these problems because this problem i guess was asked in google it was also asked in uber it was asked in apple and adobe and believe me these are not my facts these are 
actually asked in these interviews so that's why you should be doing the code daily challenges now from tomorrow like from feb feb from, from the first of feb you know that a new month is starting so i would request all of you like we can try to do lead code daily challenges every day i like you can see i am doing it consistently right so you we can try to have our 28 uh, days of code challenge right so 28 days are there in this february uh, feb so we can try to solve problem each day and maybe after 28 days we would be learning 28 new concepts right so who knows so that's why consistency is pretty much important so this is something that we would be doing apart from this we are also planning some surprises for you like uh, some more things that would be coming so today's uh, code forces round uh, is there right so today's code forces round is there so i'll be making the video we'll be uh, participating in that round and i'll be making uh, our team will be making the video editorials for all of you apart from this like uh, i'll also be making the lead code weekly challenge videos uh, soon maybe we'll publish it today or tomorrow so this is all that we are working on so you can consider to subscribe this channel if you like the content and if you think that it's helping also if uh, there's some friend that you think that might get uh, some extra edge or help with this channel so you can consider to share it with them so this was the problem for today if you want to say anything then i'm here for 60 seconds otherwise i'll end this stream right if you want to say something ask anything so you can do that because today we have completed the problem quite fast but what i would suggest is let let's try and do this 28 days of coding regularly right if you are someone who is still stuck so if you think that you needed a you needed someone right to, to push you to push you for doing 28 days in february right 28 days of lead code right 28 days in feb let's take the, that batch let's get that consistency batch right let's make our lead code green so if you were some thinking like that so I know I have done a lot of uh, live streams like since the past 19 days I've been doing it regularly and from the new years also I did uh, regard uh, just some days I skip because of my exams right so that this is something that we are planning so you can also like try to be consistent with this thing and apart from this we'll be having the code forces round today so we'll be posting the editorials for that and lead a lot of things are coming for you as well right so if you want to say anything so I am here for 30 seconds more if you want to say anything if you give me a want to give me a plus one if you want to like this video you can do that and then within 30 seconds I'll leave the stream right and hope this content is getting good for you and you can also give your feedbacks like what type of content do you want or what type of uh, things would help you to grow in programming in competitive programming dsa anything because i am available for both the things right so this was it for today uh, thanks a lot for watching everyone you can keep coding stay safe and i would say you can share it with your friends like the video like sharing would help because like we are trying to uh, build a com good community right so thanks a lot for watching